Hi guys, it's the Scavenger, and this is just an update. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted, so I just wanted to kind of fill you guys in on what's going on. I'm kind of trying to fix my brakes right now. They come loose, I don't know what's going on. I haven't actually even had these things apart since I bought this bike, so. There's been a lot going on. May's been really busy for me. Um, tons of stuff going on in May, so I didn't get a chance to ride, unfortunately. And then, uh, a long time ago, I was actually in a band, and someone offered my band, my old band, to uh, play a show. So we've been trying to prepare for that show for uh, since we found out about the show, actually. So, And uh, a lot of you guys probably don't know, but the intro song that I use on every one of my videos is actually from that band, this band called AFO actually from back when I used to ride BMX it was almost in the same time frame we played a show so we were trying to like um, you know just relearn everything and uh, try to get back uh, back to where we were before the show we didn't have a lot of time and uh, we were really trying to cram practices in you know, a couple times a week so I haven't been able to ride sometimes it's a struggle to um, balance between spending time with family and uh, you know work and stuff around the house and some of these uh, other external projects like music and um, I actually do a project with my wife that uh, we play a little bit of music too so there's just a lot going on all the time um, it's not that I don't want to ride it's just that I don't have time to fit it in there so and then sometimes I'm just plain tired I'm just tired it sounds like the lazy way out, but uh, it's different. It's different when you're 18 and you don't have any responsibilities at all. And, uh, you know, I'm not trying to uh, woe is me or anything like that. But, uh, you know, it, takes, it just takes a little more effort to get out there and ride. So, but anyway, I'm not done riding. I just want to let everybody know that, um, you know, trying to get prepped to get uh, these videos up and running again soon. I have a lot of ideas for new stuff to, uh, new videos to come here. So it's only a matter of time before I get some new stuff out. Also, I'd like to say any of uh, you guys who have been following me, I know you uh, probably know that I set some goals last year, the beginning of the season. And fortunately, I did not meet those goals to my standards. So basically... I think what I'm going to do this year is I'm just going to reset the goals. I'm going to start over. I mean, I did a couple other things on the list, but I'm not doing them consistently. Um, and I, I want to be able to do them, you know, on command. So I feel like I met the goals that I set out for myself. So um, we're going to continue that list this year. Uh, also, I switched bikes halfway through the season, and I really think that uh, slowed my progress. Um, just getting new, used to the new geometry and everything. Um, same thing, I'm not trying to make excuses. I just, I'm really having a hard time adjusting to these shorter rear ends and stuff, so. And like I said, I did meet some of the goals. I did do some of the things. I'm just not doing them as consistently as I would like. So we're just gonna continue that list. Um, some of the things I didn't even attempt. Frankly, I just didn't feel like I was ready or comfortable enough to um, attempt some of this stuff. Um, not get this loose. What's the deal? It's like this thing is seized on here. Seriously, never had these off since I bought this bike. Never had to even mess with them. All right, so I'm back. I had a bit of an issue with these brakes, and I got to tell you, I had my bike, other bike, for 20 years, and I've never encountered this problem. These screws right here are so shallow that when you get any kind of a pressure. It will not come off. <laughs> that is crazy. So I literally had to lower the spring and twist the thing and it actually took the whole mount off. Nice job, Eclot. I don't know if that's because this is a, uh, I don't know if that's because this is a complete bike and this is like not a very nice brake setup or what. I mean, they work really well, but uh, they were loose. The other one's still loose. The whole mount came loose. So, I know, back in the day we didn't have, they were all welded on mounts and stuff, but, uh, man, that's crazy. 
I don't know how I'm gonna get this off of here. But uh, yeah, I had to lower the spring, smash the spring down, and it actually took a groove out of the inside where I had to smash it down. So hopefully I can find a replacement bolt and uh, get this thing apart. Otherwise, I'm gonna be brakeless. And frankly, I'm just not that guy. I'm not the brakeless guy. You know what I mean? Hmm. This is. Uh, I don't know if these are all set up like this, but this is a pretty, uh, pretty garbage design. I gotta tell you. You know, I've got decent Allens too, and these things are not having it. They're not having it. Not sure I'm gonna be able to even get it off of here. Oh wait, I think I'm getting it now. There we go. Now I'm getting it loose. Holy crap. Maybe you have to grab a hold of this bottom when you do that? Man. Never had that happen before. Oh, there it is. Shredded. <laughs> I have to find a new one now. Hopefully I can find one in that size. Well, anyway, thread on mounts. I don't know. Uh, Got to tell you, not my favorite thing on the new bikes, but uh, I get it. You know, not everybody wants them on there, and, you know, it is what it is. But uh, it kind of sucks that it came loose, and I had to tear it all apart, so. All right, guys, that's going to be it. It was just a little update. I'm just trying to um, get this brake problem squared away but apparently that's not going to happen today because the bolt stripped out on me so hey what are you going to do see if i can find a new bolt um more videos come i know i've been a little off the uh off the schedule here but you know just just hard to balance everything sometimes so i appreciate you hanging out and uh waiting for me and uh, i appreciate uh, all the support that i've been getting recently i'm almost to 200 subscribers now so pretty i'm <laughs> pretty excited that uh, i'm even getting to that point um, I, can't, I still can't believe that anybody's even interested in these videos at all. So um, just hang in there. I will be back out riding. I'm just trying to get some stuff squared away. And um, I'll be back at it soon. So next time.